everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Dead Cells. We, um, would you say we did well in the last episode? It was the furthest we've ever gone, so I'm inclined to say that we did a pretty good job. Excuse me. I can't kick open the door because I don't have a weapon yet. Acid nerves. Inflict a critical blow if you fire your weapon at the right moment. I'm assuming it's... Right when you hear the ting. Apparently, uh, again, I've been reading your comments, thank you so much. Apparently, shields are like overpowered now. I don't know specifically if this is true. Okay, I gotta, this is gonna take some getting used to, but you know what? We just had an episode where I like fell back on the uh, strategy that I've been using forever. Wow, this is not going too well. Um, help me, please. There we go. So, maybe having a new strategy is not the worst idea in the world. I will say, I feel like acid nerves is not as good as I would like it to be. Okay, you gotta, that timing window is like way more narrow than I thought. But anyway, we're gonna try to make it work, but it might be a little, I don't know, 50-50. I have essentially no idea, but this is only, First floor equipment. Oh, dude, when you get into a rhythm, it actually feels pretty good. I don't know, I'm, I'm torn. Like, that feels amazing. I can't help but feel that to some extent it might compromise... That felt great, too. It might compromise the uh, video quality. <laughs> you know... For me to constantly be focusing on hearing this uh, ping in the background, but hey, man. If something's worth doing, it's worth doing right, probably. Words that I've never really chosen to live by, but maybe now's the right time. I just feel like we should mix it up. You know, we had one long run. It's not like I want this video to be short, but I feel like we should take uh, the opportunity to possibly not necessarily make it short. Stuns blocked enemy stuns last longer when you throw a parry. It's probably better. Plus we get the grenade throw out of it. Um what I'm what I'm really saying is we can afford to help we can afford to have a video where we experiment. And if that experiment leads to a video that's even longer, nothing wrong with that. If it leads to a shorter video where we learn something, hey, that's a necessary part of the business as well, probably. So for now, sure, weird survival build that appears to make almost no sense at the present moment, but is doing a decent amount of damage. The jury seems out, by the way. I've been reading your tweets, your comments, your etc. and etc. The jury seems out on um, which direction is the best way to go. Certainly there's good things about the sewer. You get more scrolls proportionally. I got a lot of replies to a tweet where somebody was like, you should definitely go to the, sh the sewer because you get more scrolls and makes your endgame even easier. And uh, a couple of people were like, yeah, that makes sense. And a couple of people were like, it's not really worth it in the whole scheme of things. So I don't know. I'm, I'm torn at the present moment, but I'm still, you know, it's a dense game. I'm feeling things out for myself and... Uh... Oh my lord, this is bad. That was actually incredible, and I am a god of dead cells. We're feeling things out for ourselves, and you know what? One day, we're gonna get there. Probably not as fast as some other people, but one day we're gonna get there. We always do. Often do. In general, I'm not really interested in taking uh, lifesteal items that cause us to have uh, extra damage taken. Might work fine, might be poison, I'm not convinced yet. I'm loving, you know, hitting one enemy with the crit and having them die instantly. That's doing me a lot of favors. My psyche feels better now that I've got that crit. You know, probably like 75% efficiency on actually landing that. Ah, we missed one thing. Probably do not want to take it. We should get in the habit of going, just in case we want to, you know, sell it. I'm not fully convinced, uh... 
what? <laughs> I'm not fully convinced that this is a, a viable combo, by the way. Shield and bow. It's almost worth opening that just because you know you're going to get like a few hundred gold out of it anyway, but... Maybe... Eh, we'll just recycle it. Maybe it's functional, but I don't, I don't know. What are the green weapons? Green weapons are like just bows and shields, right? So I don't know if maybe it's acceptable or even at all sensible to be rocking both of these simultaneously, but... That's what we're going to do for now. Uh, another tip that came up, and I'm going to try to implement that here, just to at least get some practice with it. You can break the collector's door, and as a result... Hmm. Do me a favor. Give me double damage on ranged weapons for now. Um, you can break the collector's door, and as a result of breaking the collector's door, uh, we can take cells with us and then use many many more on the blacksmith to upgrade our weaponry instead of always just uh, unlocking stuff we really I guess we were pretty slow two minutes the problem right now yeah that was real bad what I didn't even see you the problem right now is that I'm not using the shield for anything I'm holding it Wow, that was bad. Extremely bad. Genius. I'm holding it out of a sense of, like, obligation or inertia. Now, I'm happy to have the flashbang. I threw throwing knives away, right? Not knife storm, which would have been, like, just idiotic. What would be an ideal secondary item for a bow? See, here's the problem. In my head, the ideal secondary item for the bow... Whoa... <laughs> is a sword. Because I've played video games in my life before. But if you're gonna roll bow sword... Really feels like brutality is kinda like your go-to, right? So I want to resist the notion of just rolling brutality runs over and over. And I'm kind of digging this. Like, it's getting the job done. I'm glad we came to the sewers, because we need scrolls. I don't know how... Oh, this guy drops a scroll. Let's go. It's not the kind of scroll I was looking for, but... Uh... That's okay, you know, we'll go, uh... I think we'll go Tactics. Even though it's a lower uh, HP buff, we're gonna go Tactics. Because I think going for a scroll reduction, or not scroll, skill reduction cooldown is probably agnostically really good to roll with, but... I don't know. Like I said, I'm still feeling it out, you know, there's... I'm not really in the... Oh, that was a very quick attack. I'm not really interested in just uh, trying to bum rush like the most optimal path to victory yet. If we get lucky one day, that situation will present itself. But for now, uh, I'm really just worried about figuring, you know, loadouts out. People tell me shields are good. I say to myself, I don't know. Yes, hello, my friend. One day I will figure you out. We have an obligation to try to figure out, you know, if those people are out of their minds. So I know that there's a... You could... You can wall jump or you can climb walls or something like that. I don't know if we have the rune unlocked, but somebody linked me to a YouTube video that I will admit I just did not watch. One person tweeted me, and they said, If you're so committed to learning about dead cells, just read everything on the wiki. And I was like, okay, thanks, professor. <laughs> Not to be rude to the person who's probably watching this video, but, as you know, I'm, I want to learn experientially here. I don't want to just read the... I don't think it's cheating or anything like that. It's just not the way I have fun playing these games, is to read everything on the wiki and then come back with a video where I'm like, this is the optimal strategy, the Turing perfect... Just didn't even do... It. Yeah, you are a fool, me. Mm, input uh, item, output victory. 
you know, I, I want to... Hopefully we'll get to that point eventually. I don't know what I got hit by. Am I upset? Absolutely. Yo, the parries! Okay, is that how we... Get a leg up on this? Actually parry? And then probably follow it up with a crit instead of like... A bunch of terrible attacks? Okay, okay. There might be something to be said about this. Whoa! Please. All things considered, like, this does not look nearly as fluid as our last run. We need a skill anyway. It doesn't look nearly as fluid as our last run, but that doesn't necessarily make it bad. What about a frost blast and a bow? I don't know. You know, we're, we're, we're learning. I'm trying to avoid saying uh, we're feeling it out for the 17th time. But we're slowly learning how to roll with this weapon combination. Okay, I, I thought I landed the world's greatest parry there. It's clear now that I was incorrect. I don't want to... Oh, okay, let's heal up a little. I don't want to act like I'm some kind of genius, but... Uh, have you noticed? My seemingly incredible ability to only get hit by bats about 90% of the time. Again, I don't mean to brag. 10% of the time, we're handling those bats appropriately. And I'm feeling like that's a that's a step up for us. Hit me. Remember, your parry doesn't block all damage. It's one of the reasons I think that shields kind of seem underpowered to me. It's the idea that, well, you're still taking like, you know, 80... Oh! You're still taking 15% damage, not 80 damage. Ivy Grenade? Eh. Why not, right? Oh, you're a fool, as usual. Might as well sell this. A thousand gold, wow! I'm gonna go buy access to a room on the very first floor of the game. That's sarcasm. Ramps. Oh, I see another scroll. This run feels doomed right now, but... Every time I've said a run feels good, it's been cursed. <laughs> so maybe for it to feel doomed is actually a great sign that life's gonna go excellently for us. Well, you know, I think there is a case to be made. That the more... Knock on door one first, please. Nope. Doesn't doesn't make any sense. Um, maybe there is a case to be made that the uh, the less confident you feel, the more you actually pay attention to what's happening. And oh, I guess I was poisoned. The more you pay attention to what's happening, and as a result, you play a little stronger. Do a little better. Come out with the win, you know? Gotta hit this guy. Okay. Hold it together. Heal up. We're not in a terrible spot because we know that we can leave for the ramparts as soon as possible. Now, I would prefer not to leave for the ramparts. Starting to get a little bit more fluid there. Um, I feel like we, we don't want to leave for the Ramparts, because, uh... We're gonna get less scrolls there than we'd get if we go the other direction. But what what direction is the other direction? It's not this, uh, Forgotten Sepulchre, is it? Because I don't feel that degree of confidence on this run at all. Alright, that felt pretty good. Now, if only I could actually land that crit. I've lost my mojo, baby. Austin Powers. Yeah. yeah! One day. One day I'm going to figure out how to open that thing up and it's going to be a whole new ball of wax. 
feel like, what do we have for scrolls? Five? We've gotten five scrolls total? Seems low. That felt nice. There we go. Not smart. Not sure if the oil grenade is worth uh, rolling in a situation like this where you have no fire abilities, but you know, that's the thing with dead cells. You should be comfortable. This is my, my earnest and honest assessment after like far too little play. But you should be confident enough in dead cells that, you know, you can survive these first few floors without getting market increases in your abilities, more or less. You know, like, if I can handle this with a, with a bow and a shield without really fully understanding how either of them work, I've got the utmost confidence that you can handle it with whatever you got going on. Ah, right, so we can't... To the best of my knowledge... Can't make it up there, right? I'm trying to climb on other walls to see if it happens. So, I think we're stuck... Uh, there is a shove shield. I don't know how we get there. Yeah, I do not know how we get there. And this is where we started. There's one... Oh, and it actually is a treasure room, so... Well worth checking out. A golden shield. Swarm of biters crawls from your victim. Transforms enemies' arrows into gold. I do like the stun and the fact that there's a grenade, so I think I'm going to dump that uh, golden shield. L I mean, let's be real, gold doesn't seem to be that relevant for us. Eventually, uh, apparently, there's like a stat wipe coming in dead cells. Oh, right, we can't go that way either. Um, I think that means we're at the end of the floor. Can't go that way. That's where we started. Yeah, to the ramparts we go. Unless, did I... Yeah, we... We did go up that way. That's where the trap was, right? I think. We'll check it out real quick. It's not like we're going to be opening any timed doors with our current loadout. Yeah, yeah, we went that way. Um, apparently, there's going to be a stat wipe, and I'm actually, like, not upset by it at all. And don't take this as, like, look it up before you just take my belief here, but that's what I was told. Maybe recover 12 HP after parrying? Because I'm assuming our future points in survival might help that out. By the way, the whole reason I went for uh, extra ammo first is because I was thinking about the boss fight. And when we get to the boss, we're going to want uh, a little bit more hurting power before we have to engage in like rolling for 100 years. Cannot jump, my friend. Alright, that's an embarrassingly long time to kill on that. There we go. Don't get hit. I'm gonna try to, like, I don't think we can make it through this whole floor without getting hit. That strikes me as highly unrealistic. But I want to play a little bit better. I think we took way too much damage way too quickly last time on the sewers. There we go. The other thing is, we can engage from far away. I'm trying to do, like, infantry bow shots up close and personal. There we go. Not 100% efficiency. Not doing too badly, though. And all the HP we've lost... That was horrible. Has been a result of our shields up until that moment, at least. Go ahead. Like, we lost HP there, but we might have recovered some as well. I don't know. I guess I'm trying to figure out whether I think this... Is that a block or a parry? A parry probably blocks 100. That's right, NL's played video games before. And a shield, obviously, is not going to block 100. It only blocks whatever the absorption rate is. There we go. So it's not... Oh my lord. <laughs> it's not just about blocking with the shield. You're trying to get that delicious parry. I'm 
not my finest moment. Yeah, okay. I'm starting to figure it out. I'm learning the parlance of the game. Of course, parrying and blocking are two different things. I'm a little embarrassed it took me that long to piece it together. Is it the only thing I can think of with this door thing? And I could be very wrong. Is if you knock on them in order, maybe you accomplish some kind of objective. Attack booster is not green. Does create oil, but the only thing I can think of is you knock on them like one, two, three, four. Or maybe I don't know four, three, two, one. Is it a blast off or uh, something else altogether? Is there one enemy down here? No. Just a, a victim of parallax scrolling. Seven minutes ago. Oh my god. Well, to be fair to myself, we are still rocking, like, essentially close to default equipment. Yeah, whenever you get that block instead of that parry, it hurts. Come on, come on. Practice. Wake up. Nope, that's a block. Can't afford to make that mistake too often. There we go. Okay, so we'll continue to move towards, I don't know, some kind of... Uh, geez, at this point. Let's take one brutality, give us a little extra HP to work with. Stats are a little too... Well balanced for my tastes right now. Dude, stop giving me tactics brutality. I'm losing my mind. You're very lucky. It's like the one time we've ever wanted survival and it's not showing up. Help. I love this. He's a genius. That also, like, probably aged me by like 10 years to wait that long. But what's done is done. Stop. He's a god! He's not a god. He got too cocky. Hubris foisted another young man in the prime of his life. Playing video games on the internet. Making vague references to Shakespeare's Scottish play, Romeo and Juliet. Scrolls? Scrolls that are actually relevant, please? Well, let's... Very common NL expression. Let's focus on the positive. What's the positive of a lot of our scrolls being uh, either tactics or brutality? Uh, it keeps us flexible, and as long as our equipment remains relatively... Oh man, that room's gonna suck. As long as our equipment remains relatively, like, not that amazing... Oh no. We're gonna be happy to have that degree of flexibility, honestly. Heal me. Heal me. He's... Did you see that? Have I ascended? Have I reached true ascension? That didn't seem that bad. Did I hear a secret or was that just classic drum beat? Not ascended. Confirmed, not ascended. Again. Again! Again. There we go. This is good, you know? I did the same thing in Dark Souls. You go to An Orlando. You got the Silver Knights. They have uh, highly telegraphed attacks, and you learn the parry window on your weapon and shield of choice. That's exactly what we're doing right here. It's homework, but it's homework 
for a purpose. Okay, that never should have worked. I still have very little confidence overall in this run. And yet here we are. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Again, not ascended. Not ascended, but not bad. He's a god. It's a, you know, it's really one of the strengths of dead cells. Smart idea, maybe. Um, that you can have two runs so different as the last two runs that we've had. They both seem viable. Wouldn't call them equally viable because I'm not an idiot. But they both seem viable. And yet they feel completely different. Like this one's, at least at the present moment, way more about actually like baiting enemies into an attack and then capitalizing on it. Not a smart move. Even dumber. Go ahead, go ahead. No, no, I messed it up. Go ahead, go ahead. Not a parry? Come on, what's the window on that? You gotta give me a little leverage. Knife Storm. Flicks Bleed. I don't know, the Ivy Grenade has been pretty good. Flashbang, I don't think it's bad. But the uh, recharge time on it is just so ridiculous that... It's hard to justify. All other things being equal, I'm gonna make a... Hear me out here. Okay. Fair enough. Go ahead. Do it again. Again! Okay, I'm stupid. Get wrecked. Dude, we need a new green tier weapon. You know what would be a nice green tier weapon? There's no way we're ever finishing this challenge, but we're gonna try. You know what would be a nice green tier weapon? The shovel. It goes green or red, depending on which one has uh, a higher stat. I don't see us killing these guys in an adequate amount of time. Unless we get like 90% crits. Watch this. No, okay. So do you know what I was trying to do there? I was trying to be the world's smartest moron. And, uh... I thought by... Parrying... Or not parrying, but deflecting their projectile... I would, uh... Kill all of those enemies in one fell swoop instead of leaving myself... You know, open to danger by constantly being around them. Dude, I want to use the rune! Instead, I ended up taking damage. Probably a little bit of a foolhardy mistake. Please, God. I don't wish to fight the boss yet. A better weapon is in order. No secret on that one. Maybe a secret down somewhere? I don't know. I don't know. What I do know is, hey, on the bright side, we've made it through the ramparts. And, uh, oh, we can't get there, right? Or the ramparts we watched uh, were so gallantly streaming. Can't get there. I think you unlocked that rune of the ossuary. That's what I was told. So I think it's the Black Bridge next. We have a bit of a, a, a power play here, I think. 
as ridiculous as it might seem, if we beat the boss, we'll go to the blacksmith and we'll be able... Well, let's just choose something smart here first. 5 HP after the death of an enemy. Sure, why not? Let's go for some survivability. Instead of just taking the same brutality and tactics perks over and over. Um, we'll have enough cells to probably get an upgraded green weapon from the blacksmith. Well, 80 or 90 crits, and this guy's done. This is going to be extremely annoying. Okay, the first time I land so many crits. He's like 15% dead. Please. Thought about a new technique there. Didn't really work. Like if I could parry and stun him, who knows, right? Just, just take your time. It's, it's not going that badly. It's just very slow. Like it's more than very slow. It's extremely slow. But you are using a default weapon. You know, it's good uh, parry, or not parry, but good acid nerves practice, if nothing else. And it genuinely might be nothing else, so... It's like when you get off the rhythm, you're just screwed. Oh, it's extremely bad. Still pretty bad, but at least we got a heal. That felt so good. Now call me crazy. That's where you say you're crazy. I was just, by the way, a little bit dead air as I was admiring myself landing all these uh, acid nerve shots. We might want to go for an upgraded acid nerve, even though I'll level with you. Shield and bow makes no sense fundamentally. That was terrible. The only reason it makes any sense is because we have the parry ability. So shovel is probably the smart money. But I kind of have the window for acid nerves in a better spot. Please give me my ammunition back. Like... No. Just don't mess it up here. We're actually, like, not that bad. Probably this is 100% the best I've ever played against this guy. With the worst build I've ever had. Heal up. Like six more? Almost. Okay, that sucked. Everything about that was annoying, but hey. Kept me in the groove. And before we get too confident, we should just hope against hope that we actually have enough souls to unlock something from the blacksmith. Oh, we will, for sure. Weapons, please? There we go. Not melee? Don't make me laugh. Although, some of these are green. Broadsword is green. Shovel's green. Let's go with acid nerves. 
I'm, I'm committed. And then KO shield. Let's stick with what we got. And then we'll also, I don't know, invest in the shovel or something like that. KO shield 4 plus. Plus 20% damage. When inflicting a critical hit, throws a grenade. Of course. And then acid nerves. Much better damage. More ammo. Extra damage on a frozen target. And we can't sell that one because that's default. We got no cells for you, my friend. Nothing for you. I really... 100%, if I'm being copacetic with you, on the level, I think we have won this run. On a moral level, we're rocking a build we've never done before. We made it to the Fjord. I certainly don't feel like, uh, you know, I deserve a, a pat on the back or anything like that, but... On my own personal level, it's kind of a success. That does lead to damage. He dropped a scroll! He dropped a scroll, you fool! Oh, whoops. Right, biters. Every time. Yo, yeah, we're, we're in a bad spot. I have to find a better way. I know we just took so much damage there. This run will not work. The biters are too strong uh, against our specific build. Oh yeah, zero chance. Don't make me laugh. It's good. You might think that's me giving up. It's really not. It's me recognizing that there, there needs to be something else here. Like, those guys are actually easier to take out than they've ever been. These biter lords are going to be ten times more annoying than they've ever been. I can always very, very slowly kill them by jumping. I think it's a testament to the weirdness of this run that even though we've invested the majority of our resources into survival, it doesn't necessarily look like it's paid dividends for us yet. And I don't know why I'm expecting like survival has some kind of obligation to give us damage. It's kind of, I'm not going to say it runs counter to you know, what it says on the tin, but to a certain degree, yeah. Really should have gone for the either the shovel upgrade, I think shovel and bow I think would have worked fine. Frontline shield. Absorbs extra damage but does not parry. We lose the lifesteal, but the extra damage is pretty good, and then you get the biters as well, but... So this bow does extra damage against a frozen enemy, right? We still lose the parry. Yeah, I don't think... Ugh... I don't really want to take a brutality focus weapon. I might consider taking like a melee purple item, but I don't even know if melee purples exist. Like this room, I actually just don't know what you're supposed to do. Our build is not constructed to survive this floor, but we'll try to do so nonetheless. That's what the Northern Lion brand is all about. I love that. Maybe we'd do better against those guys if we didn't go for crits. Mm, so we have a choice on that guy. No, you fool! If you go for the parry against that guy, you don't take damage, but you don't deflect his garbage. If you deflect his garbage, 
you're gonna take damage. Because you missed the parry window, but you're gonna do a lot of damage to him as well. You have to admit, I think, if you're a longtime NL viewer, probably watching me do this, you're like, I can't believe this dude has sort of made this Cliffy B active reload stuff actually work for him. Okay, not a smart move. I know you're looking at this and you're going, I can't believe he's done it. Look at that, look at the, it's not like it's a difficult thing to land. It's difficult to land it consistently. Damage plus 50%, eh. Extra damage on a burning target. Eh, meat grinder four. Honestly, I think the meat grinder plus the ivy grenade seems like a good synergy. I still think that this run is uh, doomed in the short term. We don't need the heal yet. But in the long... And dude, the saw is going to help us out so much. Oh, no. You know what? <laughs> the saw is going to help us out so much against these freaking biters. If I could actually hit them. You kidding me? You got to be kidding me. It's the only explanation. Oh! Shader gets a little weird on that uh, long distance attack there when you're crouching. Okay, we have one heal left. Uh, I would be pretty happy to just leave. Even if it leads to us being a little lighter on scrolls. Might be worth it. At this point, I'm looking for melee weapons that could save me and the only melee weapon I think that has a chance is a green it's not just shovel but it's predominantly oh no I think we've already activated him so just take it slow here who knows you'll get equipment for finishing the job might get lucky Not my ideal way to play Dead Cells is on a strange build like this. He fires too quick, yeah. Oh, this is gonna take forever. So I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to do this. Wow. Thank you so much. What if I come over here? Genius IQ? Not quite. Now he teleports. Oh no. No! No! <laughs> Heal! You fool! You fool! You fool! You, you fool! You fool! You're a, you're a fool and you're dead. Keep rolling into the attack. Not a good day. Ugh. Yeah, I got caught in the cycle. Did you see? I was like, oh, if I just parry this a hundred times in a row, I got no problems. All right. That was, it was a good learning exercise. We unlocked some stuff. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. I'm ready to go back for another more traditional run next time. If you enjoyed it, click the like button, subscribe, smash that bell, and I'll see you next time, probably for a brutality run. See you then.